plastic waste is everywhere. On our streets, in our fields, in our rivers, and in our lakes. Plastic's durability means that it tends to stick around. This bottle will take about 450 years to decompose naturally, and when it does, it'll break up into smaller particles known as microplastics, which will stick around for thousands of years. Ireland produces the most plastic waste per person in the EU, nearly double the EU average. Even along the roads, like you can see a lot of like dumping or like just people littering a lot. And just even in the supermarkets, like nearly everything is wrapped in like one use plastic, single use plastic and anything like that is quite stressful to think about. The world produces an estimated 141 million tonnes of plastic packaging waste each year, around a third of which escapes collection systems and pollutes the environment. The ultimate destination for much of the plastic we produce today is our oceans, where it can build up into large areas of debris known as ocean garbage patches, some of which are as large as whole countries. The problem with plastic is that it's extremely useful. Plastic is lightweight, airtight, cheap to produce, and extremely flexible. It makes food easier and cheaper to transport while keeping products clean and fresher for longer. Plastic is a byproduct of petrochemicals, and while its production emits about 1.8 billion tons of carbon annually, a truck carrying plastic bottles will be lighter than if those bottles were made of glass, saving fuel. A person's perspective on plastic will vary. For some, the benefits of plastic are the main story here, enabling our high quality of life. And while plastic waste is regrettable, ultimately it will be technology, such as bioplastics, that will solve the problem. For others, the dumping of plastic into the environment is a violation of a sacred duty that humans have to the natural world. Necessity is the mother of invention. Nowhere is this truer than in the field of plastic. Plastic was developed commercially in the 1930s and 40s. In the 1960s, plastic made up less than 1% of household solid waste by mass in the US. Today, it makes up over 10% and is central to modern life. We groom with plastic, we wash with plastic, we dry with plastic, we floss with plastic, we chew plastic, we listen through plastic, and some of us even see through plastic. It brings so much good to our lives. It begs the question, should we just relax and wait for technology to take care of it all? Bioplastics and biodegradable plastics are terms with multiple meanings, but they generally refer to recently developed compounds that decompose naturally. There is a fair amount of greenwashing and mislabeling here, as technically all plastic is biodegradable just over a few thousand years. And some of these newer plastics can emit toxic chemicals when they decompose. But overall, innovation in plastics is a positive trend. And if we can develop bags, coffee cups, and other containers that decompose naturally within, say, 10 years, without toxic discharge, this, of course, is to be welcomed. But we're not there yet. And the problem is that petroleum is an addictive drug whether used for plastic packaging or fuel, since the more we try to move away from it, the cheaper it gets, making it even more attractive. It is in petroleum where the problems of climate change and plastic combine, and this might be a fortunate coincidence. In our view, appeals to a population to strive for zero disposable plastic are more likely to succeed than a drive for net zero carbon emissions, as the plastic's feedback loop is tighter and more visible for most of us. Images of plastic washed up on a beach or being eaten by fish evokes a feeling of shame within us. And an increasing number of studies show traces of microplastics in the digestive tracts of marine life, which means humans are inevitably ingesting more and more plastic. So while some people might not care about climate change or plastic waste, they'll likely care about themselves. Appealing to people's self-interest is the best way for us to re-examine our habits our broader relationship with fossil fuels and with nature. And while it is the case that China is the leading contributor to marine plastic waste, unlike climate change, a country cleaning up its rivers and lakes need not be disheartened by the actions of larger polluters. There are also signs that China is getting to grips with its plastic problem, and international cooperation on plastic cleanups is likely to be better received than telling countries to shut down their coal plants, which would have major economic consequences at least without cheaper and greener alternatives. Producing plastic waste is within our reach because so much of it is just luxury convenience. This is the vegetable aisle in Tesco, where we find loose broccoli 
next to broccoli individually wrapped in plastic. Down the aisle, the strawberries are wrapped in an outer wrapper of plastic and a hard plastic sleeve. This plastic bag of potatoes means we don't need to get our hands dirty. All of this plastic means that other customers don't paw our produce before we buy it. But do we really need to seal ourselves off from one another in such a sterilized fashion? Supermarkets and their economies of scale undoubtedly keep food costs down, but they externalize costs to the natural world by polluting our land and waterways with plastic. The word sustainable is sometimes overused, but at its simplest, if we keep doing this for another one or 200 years, what will the natural world look like? One encouraging trend in this area is the rise of zero waste grocery stores, such as Precycle in Brooklyn, Original Unverpacked in Berlin, and Unpacked in Singapore. If you see something like you know a Tesco or a Super Value or something like that, if they're moving into that, mo that, that model of reducing their packaging or reducing their waste, or they're forced to do so through or incentivized to do so by the state, I think they'll start to see those changes. Because at the moment, individual zero waste shops, that's great, but it doesn't scale in the way that we need. And governments can help by forcing supermarkets to internalize the costs of plastic. A spate of countries introduced a plastic bag levy after Denmark led the way in 2004, which saw a rise in customers bringing their own bags to the supermarket and a reduction in plastic bag waste. While an inconvenience, this proved a largely popular measure, which shows that people are willing to put themselves out to protect the environment. The UK is tackling the issue head on by introducing a specific plastic packaging tax to be levied on manufacturers and importers of plastic. Is there anything else that can be done? While the US has sales tax, Europe uses a system of consumption tax called VAT, which stands for Value Added Tax. In the UK, this rate is 20%, in the Netherlands is 21%, and Ireland 23%. Many European countries have various exceptions to these rates, often for political or emotive items, such as children's shoes and babywear. But it is in food, where exceptions are most widespread and quickly descend into the realm of the ridiculous. In Ireland, cakes and biscuits are taxed lower than chocolate-covered biscuits, while fruit juice consumed with a meal is taxed less than fruit juice consumed without a meal. Experts generally agree that consumption taxes should be as uniform as possible, but plugging these holes can be politically difficult. In our view, the public would be broadly supportive of a measure to apply the full rate of VAT to food items with disposable plastic, especially if government used the extra funds to reduce the top rate of tax. This would nudge retailers and customers away from plastic while plugging some of the distortionary holes in the tax system. It might mean that we go back to handling fruit and vegetables with our bare hands, but some would call that progress. We'd love to know your thoughts on modern society's relationship with plastic We've created a Patreon account for anybody who'd like to support our work. And please, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from us. Slong fall.